UK drill has evolved in so many ways over the years, branching out into a lot of different styles and subgenres. But one that's popping right now is jerk drill, and it's going crazy in New York with artists such as Kyle Rich and Shargis. If you haven't heard of it, it's like a fusion of UK drill and hood trap. The melodies are usually dark, and a lot of them have that old school iconic drill piano vibe, but with a hood trap drum bounce. So in this video, I'm going to show you the process of making a jerk drill beat from scratch, including the drums, the melodies, arrangement, and everything else you need to know. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so we're inside FL Studio. First things first, we're going to set the BPM and you want it somewhere around 145, maybe like 147. And we're going to start with the melody. And to get that authentic drill sound, we're going to use Nexus and we'll use the Nexus Grand Piano preset. I've got Nexus 4 now, but if you still use the Nexus 2, then the same preset should be there. There's a couple other iconic ones from different kits, but everyone should have this one if you have Nexus. So that's why I'm going to use it. We just press Ctrl and L, we'll add half time and select four times. When I make these piano drill melodies, I like to start with half time on, just so I can hear exactly how it's going to sound. It just means that you've got to position the notes in the piano roll a bit differently, but I'll explain it. Okay, so we've got a D sharp minor scale selected. And we're just going to try a few notes to see what sounds good together. So I'm feeling that. So I like this. could copy this over and then all I'm gonna do is just bring this note down simple all what we could do is change this to a third beat just change the bounce of it let's bring this back so just bring in these I'm just gonna bring these notes out a little bit too just so it's a bit more human. And now we're gonna take the top notes and make these the bass notes as well. And then we'll also just randomize the velocity a bit. Even that sounds hard. And then we can use these half steps as well. Then it can come down to A sharp because we're using it in the chord here. But keeping that, you know. Simple. So just to explain what I was doing with that melody, because I had half time on and we've got it set to four times, that's essentially two half times. Now, if you didn't have half time on, it's going to sound wild. So this space here is one bar. And if you've got one instance of half time, it essentially gives you this room to play with because it's half in the speed. But when we've got it on four times, we've got this room to play with for each bar. That's why all the cuts in the notes are in this section here. What we could also do is press shift and D and I've got snap to grid set to a six. And that's just gonna make all of the notes shorter. Cause we've got double half time on, sometimes you don't need the notes to be long. It can make it a bit muddy. Like even that might be okay. Compared to... But what we are going to do is add some reverb. We're just going to get rid of a few bad frequencies. Let's pitch it down as well. That could work. With those top notes, I only want them to come in every now and again. And I also want to process them differently. So I'm just going to clone it and then take the top notes from this one, then paste it into here. Then we'll just go file, save mixer track as, and then paste it into number two. Now it'll be the same preset, but I just want to add some delay to this one. There we go. Okay, so we've got the piano and the counter melody. Moving on, we just want to start layering this with things like pads, textures, and just dark ambient sounds. Could stick to Nexus, see what else they got. I'm going to copy the chords in. We'll add the same halftime preset. And then again, I'm going to cut a lot of lows out of this one. Maybe some highs too. But with this one, we'll play an octave up. So we'll just press control and up. We'll get rid of the bass notes. But I'm going to get rid of most of the notes and we'll stretch these out like this. But just want to find the right sound. Yeah, we'll pitch those back down. Now, that sounds kind of hard. We'll just pan that sound a bit too. Throw on some reverb. Might get some chorus on this as well. Yeah, there we go. 
Okay, next up, I'm here with some sort of accent or texture. So I'm gonna go to my Mantra Madness accent kit, which is part of Planet Drill. Yeah, maybe that one. It's a bit more subtle. All right, we're almost there. We don't really need to add much more than this, but in one part, I want to take out all of the pads and count melodies and then just have this one violin playing with the main piano. Just changing it a tiny bit. Those last two notes. All right, and that's all you really need for the melody. Sometimes you only really need the piano and maybe a pad, but I just like to have a few different sounds to work with. But let's get the drums in. We'll go to my hydro drum kit. Let's grab a snare that we like. So the main pattern's like this. Could do something like this. Okay, there we go. So that could be the main snare bounce. Grab another one like this. Then I'm really just hearing a bounce with different snares. Maybe a little roll here. Yeah, it sounds cold. Let's grab a perk as well. Something like this. Let's see where we can add this. Even just that one. Let's grab this too. I'm just trying to get the sounds to bounce off each other. Copy that. Next up, let's go to my Trap Lords drum kit. Let's grab a few more sounds. I'm thinking this one. Let's add this like here. Okay, let's grab an open hat too. Let's add a couple of these to help with the bounce. Yeah, the slide on the open hat. It sounds crazy. Let's get the double one at the end. All right, so we're just getting the 808 in now, and we're just gonna use the spins 808. We'll have one simple pattern, and then I might wanna introduce a couple other 808s too. Let's add a few more notes. Then we can pitch this one up. Right, let's go back to the hydro kit. We'll just grab one of the bonus essentials because I'm hearing the CTM in some parts. Set this to cut itself too. But we'll set it to the same number as the other 808 so they don't overlap. Maybe the same there. I'll mute this one. thing I want to try is with that main snare I just want to add a little bit of delay just to help with the bounce there we go set it to ping pong as well I think we could add a drum fill as well but maybe only one part of it I think I just want this end part Grab the beginning of a different one though. Yeah, let's try this. Maybe even the two together. Sounds hard. You know what? Now that I've added those drum fills, I could hear that leading into an actual drill section. So why not, man? In this part, I want to change it from third cell. So I'm going to mess with the melody a bit. So yeah, more like that. It's just going to make sense with the drill pattern. Then I'm also going to take that melody, I've rendered it, I'll make this one unique and then we'll pitch this one up an octave. Go back to the dojo drum kit, add a count snare.
All right, so we'll have this one and then a lighter one on top. Just adding a lot of energy with this pattern. I'm going to paste it into this snare as well. I'm going to try to test this 808 as well. That's from my dojo kit. Yeah, and this part can just follow the main piano pattern. All right, this drill part sounded crazy. You might have noticed that I switched up the 808. I've actually gone with the roller one, which is part of my deep suite. Just felt like it gave me that gritty UK vibe more. Let me just add some effects in too. Just to switch it up. This beat's actually turning out mad, you know. Get one more drum fill in as well. All right, so after this drill section, we could bring the normal piano back in, and then I think we could bring the violin in. And this will be like a bridge. And then we're gonna bring this hood trap snare back in. But in this one, we're just gonna bring this up to make it more high pitched. And then just to finish it off, we'll get a love filler in the bridge. And I think from there, we could just copy this over. Okay, let's have a listen from the beginning. So for the intro, we just got the piano and the main snare broken up with love filter. Just save the kick for the second half. So now we got two eight ways. Drill part sounds crazy. Hey, wait, some mad. Now we're at the bridge, which is the same as the intro, but with the violin. So yeah, I hope you guys are feeling this one. If you were, then let me know in the comments. And if you want to watch more videos just like this, then click up here.